but he's really just been showing us like, hey, you know, the importance of what church means to him and why, you know, he wants us in a local body. If you're new, welcome for the first time. And if you're not new, welcome back. You know what's crazy? I saw that I actually said that on like one of our very old vlogs. And I was like, how long have I been saying it? I was so, I was so like. Since the beginning of time. I've probably been saying that since like Fit and Faith days. Y'all know about Fit and Faith. Y'all know about Fit and Faith. I've probably been saying it back then. Why the hell? I mean, that's a staple thing. I never even think about it. I just, this is what I say when I come to camp. Like, anyway. subscribe, follow, share. You Give us some topics. That. Hey, d d make it happen. But now, what's going on, y'all? Today, <laughs> y'all, we got a little hot topic. You know, we just want to share with y'all, you a know, just conversation. some stuff, yeah, that we've been going through and walking through and um, just new seasons in life. As you all know, you know, we got a son mm. who's three months he's old. Right now. Yeah, so you see, we are kind of like a little lower and not tall. Two hands. Yeah, he's two knocked hands. out. But we did want to come and uh, just have a conversation with y'all today. I mean, the hot topic of conversation for us is, topic is I mean, for us it is because I think, you know, everybody, as you all know, we're believers. You know, we love the Lord and we follow Jesus Christ. And, you know, with just all the stuff going on in the world, um, you need community, you need people around you mm -hmm. to, you know, walk and do life with. So for us, um, just in this last season we've been in, we've been in kind of transition season of, I, I guess, trying to find our balance in what it looks like to find a church home um, that is fitting for us. Um, because it's just for us knowing that we was gonna have Saya, we was going into a shift and a transition of a new season and the Lord was speaking to us like, hey, you know, we need you to focus on him mm -hmm. and prepare, you know, your attention and time on him. So we was able to do that when we got our leave from work, you know, just in a season of rest. It was like, hey, you know, that was good for us. Mm -hmm. But in that season also, what we didn't want to do is lose our intentionality in our relationship with the Lord mm -hmm. and building a foundation for Sia and his relationship with the Lord and even also the community of people point. who we built a relationship with in you know walking with the Lord. I, I did. You didn't say what we talked about. You I did. I said what we're talking about uh, our transition. You did. Uh, you said the community is so important. You kind of jumped into that part. We're talking about the time that we have not been in a local church and what it's been like. You didn't say that part. Oh, I mean, I thought I that was insinuated. My bad. I guess I had to be straightforward. But yes, yeah. what she said. That's what we're talking about today. <laughs> so yeah, and she just said we haven't um, we haven't been in a local church for a while now. Um, we in 2024 since a couple of months into 2024. April? Yeah, we. April. Yeah, we took some time away and was like, okay, you know, God, what are you telling us? It's time for us to reset, refocus, you know, again, we're going through transition seasons and change is happening. So we want to make sure we're obedient to you, mm -hmm. you know, and we, you know, love the church. We, we love the Lord, you know, we are faithful followers yeah, of Christ. Uh, we're always trying to grow. We love community. We love people. We just, you know, also always want to be obedient to the Lord and follow, you know, what the Lord calls us to and what he's telling us to do mm -hmm. because um, obedience is better than sacrifice, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I almost forgot that good old word there, but yeah, um, I think I guess start us off just speaking about for me, kind of how it's been, uh, being the head of the household and uh, the husband, and you know the one who is submitted to the Lord always, and you know coming to Him for direction and prayer and answers for our family and decisions and things like that, as well as Imani, she does it as well. But you know, a lot of times for me in this season now, since we've been in this season for the last couple months, you know, I've really just seen how God is trying to uh, call us to be more intentional with Him. He's He's been speaking to us about so many different things. Um, in so many different ways, even, you know, showing us our hearts of like, hey, you know, you're really not humble. You know, you're really prideful people yourself. It's just all these different things that we're like, man, like, you know, God, we know we're imperfect. We never knew we were perfect because you're the only perfect, you know, person who ever walked this earth. But we're like, all right, so 
you know, what do we do about these things? But he's really just been showing us like, hey, you know, the importance of what church means to him and why, you know, he wants us in a local body. Um, and I think now we're in a space in the season where we are trying to figure out like, okay, God, what's that, what does that look like as we prepare to transition back into a local church? Mm -hmm. You know, how do we serve and just be faithful, be humble, not, you know, expect or want anything from people, mm -hmm. but um, just be humble enough to like, hey, I'm coming here to meet the Lord, to grow and walk with people, to do life with people, you know, and be the ex church as God desires. And um, we've been in, in, been a part of many different churches, uh, small, big, I mean, startup, whatever you want to call it, we've been a part of them all. Uh, I mean, and we just know church is church. We're all people, we're imperfect. But the biggest thing for us, I think, going forward is like, all right, again, God, how do we be humble, you know, and the things that you're working with us on and go to the church and be vulnerable and authentic, you know, enough to be like, all right, be in a space with people and walking and doing life with them and how important it is for us. And I'm doing a lot of talking, so it's okay. I'm going to let you do your thing. Yeah, no, it's really good. I think that those things, I mean, I can speak for myself to say that when we entered this season, you know, we were learning a lot in the Bible about, you know, church really isn't a building, right? Church is a body of believers. Christ is the head. All of us who are believers are his body, and that is the bride of Christ, which is the church. Mm -hmm. People. Church is literally people. So we are a part of the church, we're your family. So um, in the beginning, I kind of had a pendulum swing. I was like, well, you know, why do we have brick and mortar churches? Because we do we even need them, you mm -hmm. know? Because we are temples, and we are. And I do think there's, there's a merit to having that conversation and understanding that, hey, Christ, you know, the Holy Spirit dwells inside of us. And so he doesn't dwell in buildings made by man. He dwells in us, in his in his believer, in his children. So, um, in God's children. So that is true. But, you know, the, the full circle, the wisdom in that is because that is true, we should get together. Because that is true, we should, you know, be together and do life together in um, spaces, you know, of course, not just at, at church buildings, like modern church buildings, but also at home, also in community, also for lunch, also at work, also, you know, wherever we go. And so I think that, you know, this season has been helpful and God has really helped us truly to be able to grow and deepen our understanding of what church, what the church is, who, how we operate, how he's called us to operate, and some key components of what makes the church the church. Like simple, like if you're describing something, like descriptive things, like the church is the bride of Christ. Christ is our head. The church is supposed to be disciples. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, we're believers. We're all have the great commission as our call to, you know, spread the gospel, make disciples. So that is a part of it as well. The church, you know, is supposed to be community, family, communing together, fellowship together, breaking bread, eating, helping each other, you know, serving one another, these things. Um, just different facets of that we've been able to study and see verbatim in the word and also as we've read through some of the New Testament now you start to see similarities in the different churches that they were writing at Paul mostly Paul but some other people too, were writing to is like you know they all gathered they all helped each other out you know they all took care of each other's needs they all you know so then you see this comment you know they all were getting correction they all had Many times, you know, issues and strongholds, and sometimes they were the same things because they're around each other, and you know that that's the part of it. But God is so loving and kind; their teaching was geared to what they needed. So you kind of just see these different things, and reading through the Bible and understand, like, okay, you know, yes, we are all the church, but one of us isn't the church. Like, I'm not the church. Yeah, Dad's not the church. Yeah, even us together in the church, we, <laughs> the everybody are globally, literally, and so you know because of this you know, that is why we gather. Because of the, you know, it's so intentional. And I think, especially when we look at how our modern, our Western culture is set up, if we don't gather, there's gonna be a shift. Like, it's so easy to get self, you know, consumed yep. in self. Mm -hmm. And so, we ha we need to build, put things, I believe, in place to where we are gathering to just praise God. Yeah, we are cool. gathering to read His Word. You know, like, we have to, make that so I, I i do believe in the local church in terms of how we see it done now but i do also believe that there are some things that we have adopted as a, as a church that aren't healthy 
and don't serve um, us or God or his people or the need to know him as well well at all you know and so now that we're in this space it's like okay you know what are some facets that we can look in biblically and see how God intended church his church to be as we're looking for a local body we can look for some of these attributes like fellowship like um the fruit of the spirit like you know I used to like think about stuff like you know like sometimes not really but kind of like numbers like okay we're not looking for like a big old place it doesn't you know the, the number is not important or um even the number of ministries they have, like the things that you could do. Really, it's cool. It's not that important, you know? <laughs> like, I'm looking more so, okay, fruit of the spirit. Is there love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control in these, in this space, in these people, right? Is That's that true. present? Is the Bible being taught? Mm -hmm. Is Jesus being glorified? Like, that's one too, like, is he, when we come to these services and we're spending time together with the people, can we tell from how we're moving, what we're saying, and what, how we're conducting ourselves and teaching that Jesus is the king of this space? Like there is a king and he's Jesus. Like can we tell that? You know, like, or do we never hear him in a, in a, in a message or a sermon or anyone's conversation at all? Like yeah. these are the kind of things that we're looking at and um, God is dealing with us, you know, embodying those things, um, but also things that we can now identify in a local church when we do um, begin to look, and we are talking local, because last time it was over an hour out. So we're looking, we're talking local, <laughs> like, lo you know, local, like something that we can actually do life with you on a Sunday, but also maybe you live like 15 minutes away so we could also do more life outside of just the place, you know? So just, um, those are some of the things I think that I've been thinking about and reflecting on um, primarily from this season. Yeah, that's good. So, um, that's really good, babe. Um, to piggyback off of that, it just made me think about like a couple of verses I think we been reading over the last couple of months. Um, I know we was in Romans, we was in First Corinthians, mm -hmm. uh, First, Second Thessalonians. Uh, we just been in different, you know, parts of the Bible, and, and Paul has been doing a lot of speaking, <laughs> um, speaking and correcting um, of the church, uh, different churches and. Um, I, you know, just different things that we can see now that, you know, is truth today from even back then. And um, in 1 Corinthians 1.10, Paul is talking um, to the Corinth church and he's basically saying, he said, hey, I appeal to you, brothers and sisters, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you agree with one another in what you say and that there be no divisions among you, but you, that you be perfectly united in mind and thought. So even for us, um, I think we read that a couple months ago and we was reading um, scripture and just reading that chapter and just seeing Paul talking to the church about, hey, you know, don't get caught up in, well, hey, I'm tied to this leader or I'm tied mm -hmm. to this person or this church or this pastor and all these different things. That's the Bible too. Yeah. Like, who, who is Paul? Who is, right. who is that Sylvanus? Who is this? Right. right. So even things like that, like piggyback off what he was saying earlier, just about you know, us being a church together. And that's what Paul's saying here. Like, hey, don't get caught up, you know, in all those People. things. But, yeah. you know, hey, I could be out here in this part of the world and this person could be in this part of the world and we could be on a work trip together. And, you know, we're the body, you know, mm -hmm. we're the church. And it's like, oh yeah, we could come together, commune and have a moment where it's like, dang, that person loves the Lord. I love the Lord. And, you know, we just have moments that we can share the gospel. We can share, you know, the light of God. We can, you know, just have moments like that. But I think, you know, for us, what we're learning again, because we're selfish individuals, mm -hmm. prideful, we, we're not humble, all these different things that you know, we need the Lord to continue to work with us on and for us to continue to just be, you know, changed and sanctified through him. It shows us like, hey, that's the importance of the church, you know, and that's the importance of why we need to stay close to God's word for ourselves and with other believers, mm -hmm. you know, and like she was saying, in be in the word. And I just like, hey, I'm going to fish for the word through going to a church service on Sunday. Mm -hmm. And that's mm -hmm. going to hold me for the week because, you know, for us, scripture. again, that's where God has taught us like, hey, you know. I need you to continue to follow me. I need you to continue to pursue me. I need you to continue to let me transform your heart mm -hmm. so that you can be more like me. Because, you know, you are broken and you need help. So, mm -hmm. you know, First Corinthians, I think, and Romans. I got another verse from Romans. Um, I'm trying to find it. Well, I, 
Romans 12, I'm going to read 9 through 21. And it says, Let love be genuine. Abhor what is evil. Hold fast to what is good. Love one another with brotherly affection. Outdo one another in showing honor. Do not be slothful in zeal. Be fervent in spirit. Serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in tribulation. Be constant in prayer. Contribute to the needs of saints and seek to show hospitality. Mm -hmm. Bless those who are bless those who persecute you. Persecute you. Mm -hmm. Bless and do not curse them. Mm -hmm. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Mm -hmm. Love in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Mm -hmm. Never be wise in your own sight. Repay no one evil for evil, but give thought to do what is honorable in the sight of all. If possible, so far as it depends on you, live peace, peacefully with all. Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave it to the wrath of God, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. To the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. Mm -hmm. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. For by so doing, you will heap burning coals and on his head. Do not overcome. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. So good. So much good in What's those like, verses. Conviction, 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 yeah, conviction, and, conviction. and that's kind of how it is for us when we read the word, and even now, you know, being not a part of a local body of a church, it helps us to really be like, man, like these are areas where we fall short, mm -hmm. you know, and God is showing us, it's like, man, like, you know. <laughs> Plenty of them. Right, how, how much, you know, would it look like? I mean, and not to say, hey, you know, you have to be a part of a church to God to show you and work these things to you, but it's just something about being a part of the church mm -hmm. that is important that you need to be a part of this. I would say you do you. have to be a part, like not, I'm, I'm not talking about a building, but you do need to be yeah, yeah, a that's what I mean. among a body of believers yeah. because- I mean building, yeah, yeah, that's what I mean, building. Yeah. But you do need to be in a gathering yeah, right. with people. Because like some people, like some people really like, I think right now there's a big awareness of some of the flaws mm -hmm. of the local like building church um, entities and organizations and so, some people are feeling that it's comfortable yeah. and stuff, you know. What, but I, so I do think there's other ways that people are gathering. Some people are gathering very organically. In, there's a lot of actually house churches coming up around there, yeah. around like in at least I could say everywhere. Yeah, I, I mean I don't know everywhere. I, at least for like no, yeah, some places I mean, in the everywhere. states, for sure. But you know, so there's a lot of. So, I mean I don't think it necessarily needs to look any particular way in, in that in that regard, but. I do think that it is important to be committed. I'll mm -hmm. say that we're committed to a group of believers um, that you are accountable to, yeah. who can correct you, who can encourage you, who know enough about you to be able to do these things in the first place. Because if, if no one is able to see me and no one is able to know me enough to correct me or to challenge me or to do these things, like I'm not going to grow. Right. I, I cannot isolate and expect That's for good. God just to do, like he works through people. That's why he created the church. And so there's no way possible for me to experience the fullness of his intention of what he wants to experience in him without people, Yeah. you know, without commitment. And again, not just like popping in, hey, on Sunday and going back to business and no one absolutely knows what's, you know, actually knows what's going on in my life. I mean like commitment, people. Like who really know what's and, going on. And I think that's what we've learned in the season what we're yawning for also. Like, you know, we don't want to just do life beside people. Side beside is not yeah, it. Yeah, like we got a son now who we really want, you know, to be able to grow and develop mm -hmm. in his understanding of the Lord with other young children, mm -hmm. you know, who have parents who, you know, raise their children in the household, you know, it's like, hey, I stand firm on Christ as well. Yeah. So we can all grow together, challenge yeah. each other, pray together, like this, you know, this verse was saying, like, mm -hmm. we can actually, you know, be humble enough to like, hey, my burden is your burden. We can pray through this. Hey, husband, what you going through, my brother? Let's mm -hmm. talk through it. Wives, what we going through? Families, what we going through? Like, oh, your child went through that. My child went through that. Like, And husband and wives doing it as well. Yeah. That's important. Yeah, like we we help each other. Yeah, God is just showing us like, hey, you know, it's so important and that's how I've designed it to be. Like mm -hmm. I've created you all to 
live together in community and do yeah. life together in love. And you're not gonna be perfect. It ain't gonna look perfect. Yeah. But that's the part where you able to be humble and you know love each other enough to be like, hey, well, I need to take this to God, mm -hmm. you know, so he can help me grow and see the areas of my life where hey, I continue to fall short. Yeah. And you know, he helps me become better, be like him. Yeah. yeah. I think that's good. I also want to encourage anyone if you're watching this and similar to like what we are in, if you're in a similar season or if you kind of have been like hurt with called church or you know hurt by someone or whatever the case may be, um, you know, we can see the, the importance of the local church in, in the Bible. It's very evident and clear. Um, we are not meant to be self-sufficient, self-anything, just us and God. That's not actually biblical. What's biblical is community. And even as you look, as we're looking at the local churches in the New Testament, you see that it was it was a local. Like he was speaking to, you know, what Thessalonica, Thessalonica. Mm -hmm. That's a place. Yeah. He's speaking to people at court. That's a place. Mm -hmm. So these people were gathering locally, which means they were close enough to each other to have proximity physically and do life together and even jesus you know he had his disciples and mm -hmm. they did life to, with each yeah, other when they were, yeah they were traveling but they was always together yeah but they were together right. you seen their they those were each other's people they were family right like they walked and did life together right. they might weren't family but you know they were but they, they were still on business when it came to jesus and they were physically together so right. i'm saying that to say you know the local church is important like jo joining a body, body of believers physically close to you is essential it's a, it's very important we can't forsake that um because that's how we grow because i mean i do think it's good i know a lot of times like we like what well, like for example we may watch something online or mm -hmm. like like enjoy ministries that are like further away that's cool yeah but that can't that doesn't that doesn't, it doesn't sustain place of, you well, for, that's not community. That right, doesn't take the yeah, place exactly of your, again, physically yeah. local. You know what I'm saying? So, and, and even like just being being wise about it, like, and we're in an area where there's a lot of churches, mm -hmm. you know, like and things like that. And they're all not, you know, great. But, you know, it doesn't make any sense for us to be going somewhere that's so far away and forsaking local people. There's people on our street who are believers. Why would we not be in community? Like, I don't think it's That's so good. God's will for us to step over each other to get to our preference mm. in church style. When we when he's this believers all around now. If you're in a place where there's not a lot of believers, then that's different. Yeah. But the, let me tell you, as for me in this house, we are it's a bunch of believers, right? You know, we're not perfect. We all have our flaws, but we love him mm -hmm. and we believe the same thing at the core. And so, you know, I think that it's uh, we God is, I do believe challenges us in that way to like, hey, yeah, we can we can do something in the mission and go farther out, or we can connect always with someone who's in another place who's a believer as well, and then pick up because we're family, but we can't step over to people. Who are right in our backyard? Who were in their backyard? Who God who probably called you to do life with? It's not it's, because that's what we well, learned moving here, right? Because like, like, you have to ask yourself why if you were doing that, why? Right. Or what are you looking for? Mm -hmm. That or what do you fuck you trying to need that these people can't? You know what I'm saying? But then challenge that. Allow allow God to reveal what that is instead of just saying like I'm just gonna go over here because you know it is what you that's know. good because I mean we've been talking about it, but we need to. Probably get some people over here. Get up with some soon for right. like dinner. Local, right? Because we, like she said, we got believers in that neighborhood yeah. all around. I'm sure there's people too, probably who believe in other things, and mm -hmm. you know. But what beauty would it look like for us to come together, yeah. you know, to start to be the change right where we are right. in our backyards, where it's like, hey, these are people we walk around the neighborhood impactful. and see. Yeah, and it's like exactly. you could be walking yeah. and praying over somebody, you know, without them without them even knowing it. And, it's like, oh man, that was the change or the prayer that they needed mm -hmm. without them even knowing that you were doing it, you know. But God calls into that space for a reason, you know. Mm -hmm. So, you know, like your buddy was saying, it is important. The local body of the church it's is so important. important. Like, I know we live in the times where it's like online. church is big yeah. and everybody goes online, but it's okay also to say, hey, I'm a part of a to be a part of a smaller local church mm -hmm. where you know it's what you need <laughs> that kind of direction of what we're needing now but yeah we're wrapping it up we so that's what we are it's a transparent yeah. look in hopefully it's yeah. encouraging to someone yeah i mean i'm sure you know we love church again we love we people we love community we, we love, love christ people. we love jesus we just are thankful for love our, god I love yeah <laughs> we're thankful for the season that god has shown us you know our flaws and you know, hey, get back to me. And 
we just ask that y'all continue to keep us in prayer um, as we begin soon to start looking for, yeah. you know, a local church. As he gets bigger, we're for sure going to yeah. start taking it, you know, once he gets to be able to, you know, yeah. I'm just somewhere that God has for us and, you know, where we can go and grow yes. and have family and, you know, it's be the church that God designed it to be. Yeah. And, you know, y'all share with us comments, you know, that you may have, um, any encouragement, any verses or prayers or anything we're you know we're here for y'all y'all are our family we love y'all thank y'all for always tuning in and rocking with us if you haven't again hit the like button subscribe share, share this with someone you think it would be encouraging too peace Bye.